Hello and welcome to IWIN, the International Winners Information Network. Hi, I'm Jennifer Salhi and I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you today. Now, our mission is simply to help action takers achieve their maximum results through instant business solutions that are geared to online strategies. All right, and uh, so what I found is that Facebook is a great strategy to use when you are marketing your business. Now you've got your Facebook profile and you have your Facebook page. So what we want to go ahead and do is I want to go over a strategy that's going to help you rank on the first page of Google, on the first page of YouTube, and also gain the attention of your followers, your fans, your audience, your friends, and your list on Facebook. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we are on Facebook, and you're going to click on the wheel. You probably can't see it from here, but you're going to click on that wheel. It's, it's over that way. Click on the wheel, and it's going to bring you to account settings. First thing I want to show you is how you can get a uh, you can attract people to your Facebook page all right because that's where you're going to be engaging people all right so here we are and we're going to click here on followers all right you see that we're going to click on followers and you're more than welcome to come back and check out some of these other uh, topics but right now let's click on followers because even if people don't friend you uh, they can follow you that way you don't have to accept their friend request or right, here we are at follower settings we're going to turn on follow followers will only see your public post and will not be added as friends you can use the post you want to make public and those you only want to share with friends. Okay, so learn more. We're going to turn on the follow or you can turn it off. And you have follower comments, notifications, username, Twitter account uh, to, 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 <laughs> to connect your Twitter. And here is the follow plugin. You're going to add a follow button to your website by copying the code below visit our docs for more info and options. So here we are. And if you notice, uh, it's here's the code and the preview. Here's going to be a follow button. It says 1,581 people are following Jennifer Sully. Be the first of your friends. So we want to uh, highlight and copy the code. and then you take it over to your blog alright so uh, you know that's my rank is about seven million worldwide alright and here's my blog and this happens to be uh, well we're experiencing uh, Labor Day right now this is Labor Day weekend and here's my blog and here I have included that follow. So when people come here to the blog, all they have to do is click follow and they come right to my Facebook. Right to my Facebook. How cool is that? Now they can message me, they can see my posts, my, my posts of value, and uh, you know, things like that. Alright, so how do we make this widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over and when you add your new blog post 
how to add a, fi oh, a Facebook follower button to your blog. All right, and we'll paste that. Come over here, copy that title. And we're going to paste the title. Let's say a couple words. Um, discover how you Okay, now uh, let's see here, and we'll do a couple of things. Alright, add a featured image. Okay, what we did was we went ahead and added the categories featured image and uh, the tags, which you can't see. And I'm not quite sure if I can scoot this screen over or not, so one second. All right, now what we did was we added the tags, and the tags you want to find by using your keywords. All right, you're going to want to use your keyword tool. Let's go over there really quick, all right, to the keyword tool. And on your keyword tool, you're going to go to your Google AdWords. And because the old Google uh, keyword extracting tool is no longer what it used to be. So, um, <laughs> so now you want to go here to the Google AdWords tool, sign with your new account. If you already have one, sign in or, or otherwise create an account. And you're going to look for uh, keywords. All right, you're going to look for keywords here, and you can also do some campaigns and other things, but we're not going to get off into that right now. But find your keywords, uh, words that people are looking for. Use those for your tags. Go ahead and publish. And we're going to view the post. All right, and here we have it. Here's my blog. And let's see how the follower button showed up. Okay, great. So what we have here is how to add a Facebook follower button to your blog and how to add, okay, blah, blah, blah. Here it is right here, follow. And then it just has the rest of the content, you know, on the blog. So, um, anywhere, anyway, there you have it. There is the button right there, okay. And from here, someone could follow me.